Nick Brown batted through the 64 overs that were possible before tea on the second day of the LV County Championship match between Derbyshire and Essex in Chesterfield. The opener moving to the top score of his career and to within 14 runs of a maiden first-class 100. Essex started the second day of this match on 25 for 1 in reply to their host 275, but they soon lost Ravi Bapara, who, having added just four runs to his overnight 11, was well taken down the leg side by Gareth Cross off Mark Footit. Papara was out with a total on 30, which left it to Brown, who resumed his innings on 6, and Jesse Ryder to kick-start the innings. Ryder was soon using the stand-and-deliver approach to rather good effect. He's a man who likes to hit a cricket ball. And he certainly hit this ball from Tony Palladino, an extraordinary shot to a delivery which wasn't even that short. Ryder made 32 from 36 balls, but as far as his team were concerned, his knock was all too brief. He played on to Tom Taylor, a prize wicket for the youngster who has already dismissed Hashim Amla this year. Derbyshire would have been thrilled to get rid of two of the big guns, but they found Brown a much harder man to dislodge. The 23-year-old from Leytonstone is only playing in his seventh first-class match, and after a slow start to his career, he's just beginning to find his form. He scored his maiden half-century in his last match, and the left-hander was soon on his way to another. He got there off 134 balls, an innings which mixed a solid defence with the occasional flourish that had brought him 10 fours. James Foster backed him well at the other end, He's never afraid to go after the ball when given the opportunity to do so, and he added 74 runs in 26 overs with his young partner. With the total on 162 and the deficit standing at 113, Foster also dragged a ball from Taylor back onto his stumps. The visiting captain left with 29 runs to his name. Three overs later, and Ryan tender Scarter was also on his way, LBW to Alex Hughes for a couple. So it was left to the returning Greg Smith, who's been scoring runs in the second team, and Brown to see Essex through to T. Brown moving past the 65 he made against Gloucestershire last time out to get to his career best. He was denied the chance to get to his maiden ton by the weather, which prevented any play after T. No doubt Brown will have a few thoughts on his mind overnight. He'll return to the ground on the third morning on 86, made out of Essex's 202 for 5, which leaves them 73 runs behind their hosts.